Sample Tank 4 has a powerful new synthesis engine with four envelopes, six LFOs, and a user programmable modulation matrix, along with seven filter types, each with multiple filter modes and slopes. Most Sample Tank 4 instruments have macro controls assigned to the parameters that you use most often. On a synth instrument, this is usually filter cutoff frequency, resonance, and filter envelope amount. These macro controls are connected to those same synthesis parameters on the edit panel. Often these controls are enough for simple adjustments to the sound, but other times you might want to go deeper. To edit all the synthesis parameters directly, open the edit panel by clicking the edit panel icon at the lower left of the bottom bar. You'll see an array of knobs, buttons, sliders, and displays with familiar synthesis parameters. Before we begin discussing these parameters, it's important to note that legacy Sample Tank 3 instruments play in Sample Tank 4 in their native format. That means that Sample Tank 3 instruments use a different synthesis engine with different controls and different modulation behavior. You can identify a Sample Tank 3 instrument by the ST3 Legacy Instrument badge at the upper right of its edit panel, just beneath the Zone button. A Sample Tank 4 instrument begins with the element. The element is the object that you're editing when you open the edit panel. Some instruments have just a single element. This is the case for most of the synth instruments, but other instruments often have separate elements for each component of the sound. For example, an electric piano instrument will have an element for the main samples and a separate element for the note off release samples. Similarly, a multi-articulation violin will have separate elements for the different articulations, such as staccato, spiccato, pizzicato, and sustain. It's critical that you select the correct element to edit from the Element drop-down menu at the top left of the Edit panel. Now that you've selected the element you want, you can adjust the main settings for the element in the Element section. There are three tabs here, Amp, Pitch, and Type. The Amp tab has controls for Pan, Level, and Velocity. Click the Pitch tab to adjust the tuning of the element, as well as the Bend Up and Bend Down range in semitones and the Pitch Envelope amount. The Pitch Envelope knob determines how much the dedicated Pitch Envelope will affect the master pitch of the element. Click the Type tab to set the type of playback that Sample Tank will use for the instrument. Choose between Resample and Resynth. Resample is the cleanest and most common playback type where the sample rate of the instrument samples is changed in real time to alter the pitch. This is the way traditional samplers work. Resynth uses a Resynthesis DSP engine to independently alter the speed, harmonic content, and formant of the source samples separate from the actual sample pitch. When you set the type to Resynth, Sample Tank will do an analysis of all the samples in the element. This may go very fast or a bit slower depending on the number and size of samples in the element.